What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another leak code uh, heap question. This is called top K frequent elements. Given a non-empty array of integers, return the K most frequent elements. So this is actually exactly the same thing as the Kth largest element in an array. Only difference is that we're going to have to, instead of just the Kth largest element array, it's going to be, we have to keep track of the occurrences for each value in this array and then we use the same algorithm that we use for kth largest element in array based on the occurrences that we have in the array. Okay, so I'm going to start out this problem by just creating a map that holds the, all the occurrences of our for each element inside nums. So I'm going to go through all my nums every value actually you know what I'm not gonna do this indexing uh, you could just do this for each value inside nums okay it's much faster and what are we gonna oh whoops uh, for each value inside nums we're gonna do occurrence at value plus plus so that's going to keep the frequency, keep track how many times each uh, the value in each num value, each value occurs inside nums. Now we're going to use the same algorithm that we use for top uh, for a kth largest element in array. So instead of actually building the for the heap, instead of creating a, a max heap, so normally you would use a max heap if you want the most frequent element because the the, uh, the first the largest values are in the beginning and then you could just uh, remove k times from the beginning of your heap. But we're not going to do that because that takes a size of n to build our heap and then k times to remove iterations so we're actually going to use a min heap and then we're going to create a min heap of size k and if whatever value we're going through is less than the is greater than the min heap we're going to remove the value of our min heap and add it to there so that's what we're going to do okay so once i have the occurrences though here's what i have to do i have to add each occurrence to i have to pair up the occurrence with the value um in our min heap in our wait let's see in our yeah in our min heap so I'm gonna have to do a for every for every uh, let's see auto each val inside our occurrence so every for every maybe not each val each frequency yeah for each frequency inside our occurrence uh, I need to maintain a min heap so my priority queue it's gonna be integer and it's going to be a pair because I'm pairing up each integer with its the number of occurrences, right? So yeah, vector int pair int int, and then because it's a min heap, we have to use a uh, greater yeah greater pair int int yeah that's how it would look like. Uh, then did I do that? Yep, that's it. Min heap. Okay. So then, what I'm gonna do is if uh e if each frequency if our min heap dot size is less than k, I'm going to add the values of each frequency into our min heap. So I'm gonna do min heap dot push each frequency um, so we paired up each value with its number of occurrences so when I if I want to sort based on the number of occur occurrences I'm gonna do each frequency dot second and then each frequency dot first because that's how the comparison works it always compares the first value in your pair and because of that we have to change the order of these when we add it yeah 
because I want to sort by frequencies first, then the number. Yeah, not the not the other way around. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Push this. Otherwise, I have to check the top value. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make it split the pair into two two parts because uh just in case of this is confusing for you guys. So each frequency so the top pair is um min heap dot dot top and this is a pair. So how we made the min heap is that our min heap is gonna be the first pair is gonna be number of occurrences, then it's our actual number. Right? Because we want to sort it by number of occurrences and then our number. We don't want it to be number and then number of occurrences. That, that just doesn't wouldn't make any sense, right? That would just be exactly the same thing as our map. So, yeah. So, I'm going to get the occurrences. Occurrences, num occurrences. I'll do that. Num occurrences. That's the first part. Dot first. And then... Uh, the real number, the actual number. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is if num occurrences, so if each frequency dot second is, yeah, so the reason why we're doing second is because we mapped each number to the number of occurrences for our map, right? And then for our min heap we sorted by the number of occurrences and then the we paired up the number of occurrences and then the actual number in our min heap so like we changed the order of those two uh, because our min heap need, we need to min heap the comparator compares the first value so that's why we change the order another thing you could do you could like write your own comparator so then we don't have to change the order of it but I, I decided to change the order of it so if uh, if each frequency dot second is greater than our number of occurrences at our top of our min heap, so this is at the top of our min heap, we are going to break, not break, we're going to pop and then add this again. So we're going to do uh, min heap dot min heap dot pop. And then we're going to copy this, add it to our min heap. I don't know why my computer's lagging. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then at the end, we have to return our min heap. So let's just get rid of this. So the end of our for loop here. So we need to return the kth most frequent elements, and that's just going to be to return. Did I create a to return? I did not create a to return. So vector int to return. So while our heap is not empty, while it's not empty. Um, I'm going to push min heap dot second dot top dot second. The reason why I'm doing dot second is because the second value, how we ordered it was the actual number, and then we paired the, f the first value was the the number of occurrences, right? So dot second for a min heap is the actual number. So push dot second, uh, I don't know why this came up. Then we're gonna pop. Then at the end, we're just going to do return to return. 
That's basically it. Submit. Compile error to, to push back. We gotta do push back. And it got accepted. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Uh, wait, why is it only 41% faster? There has to be other one. We did exactly the same way. Yeah, okay. Um, maybe if you get rid of the these two. We could get rid of this. So we could get rid of the variable. And submit again. Let's see. Okay, it's still 41%. But we use less memory. The idea is that we use less memory. Um so why why is it only 41%? Is it because of the auto? I don't know. Anyway, that's how you do this question. Very calm, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.